Hello buns, welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabun's bun mom, and today we are decking the halls because it is officially Jingle Bun season. So yes, instead of Cinnabun Sundays, I guess I should say welcome to Jingle Bun Days. It is here my favorite time of the year. If you watched last week's video, I cleaned the entire bunny room in preparation to deck the halls because I just didn't want to decorate a space that was crawling in dust. But today the room is ready, my house is ready, and it is time to deck the halls and get it all ready for the Jingle Bun season. But what I wanted to do today as well is as I'm decorating, kind of share with you how I'm decorating in order to keep it bunny proofed. Cinnabon is a free roam rabbit, which means she does not live in a cage. She hops around my house. So that can make decorating a little different because I wanna make sure anything I put out isn't going to get hurt or messed up by her, but also isn't going to harm her. So today as I'm decorating, I'm gonna bring y'all along and then just share a few tips and tricks along the way so that you too can decorate your home and be as festive as possible this Jingle Bun season without any f <gasps> sorry oh my god oh my god oh my god my knee popped oh my knee just popped out of joint oh my god okay i'm gonna do the rest of this intro standing because i just rolled my knee on the ground and it was like a 10 out of 10 on the pain scale Ow. so before i get injured anymore i am just going to share the holiday jingle bun spirit with you hopefully inspire and show you some fun ways that you can decorate with your rabbit and it's just fun to decorate so let's get started i have my holiday starbucks cup it is a chai latte so you know I'm ready to go. I can't wait any longer. Let's do this. Okay, so I have pulled all of the holiday stuff out and Cinnabon is like, what is all this stuff? <laughs> what is it, girl? You ready to get in the Jingle Bun spirit? Who else is bunnies? Anytime you bring anything new into the space, they automatically are all over it. I put the stuff down and she instantly was like, stuff? You have to chin everything. Okay, don't, don't eat the deer, don't eat the deer. I'm really not even sure what to start with. I have so much stuff. So I'm thinking that maybe I start with the trees because those are the big thing and then we can go from there. Yeah, do you? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think Cinnabon agrees. Can to help me open the box? Thank you so much. So the tree that I have for Cinnabon's room, I bought a tree that specifically comes in like a box. So when it comes to Christmas trees, it's not that rabbits can't have pine necessarily, but pretty much every single Christmas tree is treated or holiday tree, whatever, is treated with like a chemical that'll preserve it. So it just, as far as I'm concerned, real trees just can become a hazard for rabbits and you know that they're gonna try chewing it and messing with the bark and everything. So I try to aim for fake trees anywhere that Cinnabon has access to and specifically her bunny room. I want this tree to be something that she can't get to. So the tree that I bought last year, it comes in like a box already. So it's lifted up off of the ground. If you don't have a tree that comes in something, you can try putting your tree on like a box, on a little table, something like that, just to elevate it off the ground. This is what the tree goes in. There's like the thing where the tree goes, but this is automatically gonna have the tree lifted up off the ground. And I still have my bunny proofing wire on the lights cord from last year. I always protect my wires because it just takes one little bite before the lights on your tree go out. All right, TV, how about, how about we put this together, huh? Christmas is coming. Start sending your letters off to Santa. is coming staying up late looking out the window Okay, so this tree is gonna be a Cinnabon trusting exercise. So Cinnabon doesn't stay in this room unless we're here. Last year I had a smaller tree that was in here. I'll try to insert a picture. I just didn't love the look of it in this area. It felt too small. And I just wanted a bigger tree for this living room. I really like this in here. So I think I'm just gonna have to trust Little Miss not to completely eat it. The main thing that's important is the room that Cinnabon always occupies that tree is lifted up off of the ground. This one is gonna have to be an exercise in us scolding her. Hey, like that. Hey. No, ma'am. 
You can play under the tree, but you can't eat the tree. But I definitely won't be putting any presents under the tree. All of our wrapped gifts are gonna be under the real tree that we're gonna get later this month, which stays in an area Cinnabon can't get to, because if I had any wrapped gifts under this tree, she would definitely be opening gifts before Christmas morning. <laughs> Okay, so I am racing the daylight, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a montage of decking the halls, and then I'll get back and chat with you if there's more like bunny proofing stuff we need to talk about. Christmas is coming, yeah. some sleigh rides and some jingle bells. Tell all your brothers, sisters, mama, papa, Garland tip, not bunny related, just decor related. This is actually two garlands that I strung together because I feel like it just looks more full and exciting. So if you ever have a garland that just feels thin and not popping, try getting a second one and string it together like this. I feel like it looks nice and thick. Okay, please disregard my extremely disheveled appearance, but I went into X Games mode and let me tell you this place is just overflowing with holiday cheer. So let me give you a tour, show you some things that I want to call out for bunny proofing and let's just soak up the jingle bun vibes. Let's start with everybody's favorite room, the bunny room. I love it. I pretty much did what I did last year, but if you didn't watch our jingle bun videos last year, I have the Christmas tree that I talked about earlier back in the corner. Little Miss Cinnabon is loving it, I think. I'd like to think so. I put a cute little tree and some fake garland here. Everything in here is fake. She can't really get to this, but just in case. Switched out my pillows back here. Have a cute little setup. Again, that poinsettia is fake. Poinsettias are super deadly to animals, so <laughs> that is a fake poinsettia. And then this just cute, adorable little polar bear setup, again, with some fake garlands. And then Cinnabon sit and spot this chair. We have a little red pillow. How could I forget? this cute little stocking that says Cinnabon. This actually isn't Cinnabon stocking. I'll show you in the living room, but just a little setup over at my desk to make it even more adorable. What do you think, baby? What do you think? Oh, you're asking for dinner. I'll give you dinner in a second, sweetie. And now onto another room. So here is my cozy and snuggly living room. I wanna give a note about that candle. I'm so excited about it. So I got this huge nest candle and I absolutely love it. And I actually get quite a few questions about rabbits and candles. Here's what I do, here's my take. Rabbits are very sensitive, so sometimes scents can bother them. However, I'm burning a candle right now. Cinnabon's in there. Hello. So what I do typically is I don't really like to burn candles in the same room that Cinnabon's in for long periods of time. So I don't really burn any candles in the bunny room. Every once in a while I might burn one only for like an hour or two, but my main candles I burn out in the living room. Now, if you don't have the luxury of burning candles in separate rooms, cause maybe you're in an apartment or just in a smaller space, just burn for less time and pay attention to your rabbit. If you notice their eyes are watering or their nose is running, it might be a sign that your candle is too strong. But I would just say be, be thoughtful if it feels overwhelming for you you, it's probably overwhelming for your rabbit, but I burn candles <laughs> if, if that helps. We have our stockings over here. Bryant's is this one. I need to turn it around. It's this little wolf. Well, it's actually a fox, but he went to NC State, so we pretend it's a wolf. Obviously, that one is Cinnabon's, the rabbit, and then mine is Gus the penguin. Duh. As you saw, I put the bigger tree out here in the living room and I'm gonna let y'all know how Cinnabon does with it. Again, this room, I monitor her in, so even though she probably will mess with it a little bit, hopefully after a few times of telling her no, she'll get the gist. I set up the cute little bookshelf back here, again, just with some fun trinkets and pretty much everything in here is fake. Not that she can get up here in the bookshelf, but I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. 
Although that plant way up there is not fake, but there's no way Cinnabon's getting to that plant. We have Cinnabon's best friend, Mrs. Well, Mr. Deer, but it still looks like a girl. So this is Mrs. Deer with the sparkly glitter antlers. And in here, I just set up a few cute little trees to make the space a little more festive. Here's the dining room. Nothing crazy, but I love this little guy in the front and center. He is so cute. He looks just like the deer that like to visit in the backyard. And then lastly, we have the front room. I didn't do too much to this, but this room becomes our very festive fun room once we get our real tree. I hung these wreaths up, set up this little Mary pillow, and then over here by the bay window is where we get and put the real tree because Cinnabon does not come in here. I have this area blocked off, so we put our presents, the real tree, anything that could be bunny dangerous or just bunny hazardous or could be destroyed by her goes in here. 